Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm, I've not been here for a while because I've been busy. I've been living in Canada and I've, I've been, you know, busy with life, school and stuff like that. So I was not able to make any more videos. So this, this time, I'm, this is a pretty personal video and this is kind of an emotional one because, you know, most people who know me personally know me as a like Samsung fanboy. You know, I have I have Samsung everything. I have the Samsung phone, Samsung S22 Ultra. I have the Samsung Buds. I have the Samsung Watch and everything. You know, like, like this is not charged because because of a reason. I'm gonna tell you that. And uh, uh, I've been a Samsung fanboy for a very long time. I had the Samsung phones. I um, I've been using Samsung for the last 10 years, you know, the first Samsung phone, you know, the true Android phone I had was the Samsung Galaxy Y. And after that, I switched to the original Samsung S series, like the first Samsung S. Then from that, I went to uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 5. From that, I had a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And then from there, I, I got myself a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. From there, you know, obviously I went to Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. But, you know, my even though I was a fanboy, I was using the phone. I I loved the software. I love I loved everything about the phone. But I have a, I've been having issues with the phones, you know, like every phone has some kind of hardware issue. Even for this phone, I had to change the display like three times. That 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 just cost me a lot of money so you know since i was in india this thing was costing me a lot of money to change i don't remember how much i spent but like i did spend a lot of money to get this fixed it was not it was not my 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 issue i uh, this was a common issue with the samsung s20 plus devices uh like i still have the issue you know like i tried to i i, I contacted samsung customer care i tried to fix the thing and like everything no i thought I, it was just an issue with the Indian devices when I came to Canada and after coming here I went to get an iPhone you know iPhone 13 Pro Max I went to get that but I came home you know, getting a Samsung S22 Ultra because I I was so into the ecosystem I had the Samsung Galaxy watch I use a PC I don't use MacBook so I use a PC and I already had these buds with me so I checked online and you know, if you're buying an iPhone, these things won't work well with it. So, even then I went went with the Samsung, you know. Even just after two months, like, I know I'm here in Canada and the temperature could, at that time was around minus 20. Like, me and a few of my friends were out on a hike. Everybody else had the iPhone 14, uh, sorry, 13 Pro Max. And I was the only guy with the Samsung. So everybody had their phones out, everybody was using it. And suddenly the half of the touch didn't work in my phone. And I had to get it replaced and I had to get shit done and you know. And from then like the phone was working great and everything, even till now I had never had an issue. So like last week. I went to get this phone upgrade. I, I wanted to get the S24 Ultra because, you know, I, I wanted, wanted one of the latest and greatest and the best. But, you know, I came back home with a iPhone 15 Pro Max. Even I'm shooting this video on a 14 Pro Max of my roommate. So, yeah. Um, I, I I I found a few things with the iPhone 15 Pro Max which I really loved. The thing is that like from the first day you're using the phone, I I got this like completely packed and filled with all my personal stuff with all the softwares and like all the games that I play like PUBG and stuff like that. Another thing I love with about the phone is that everything works. Everything works from the first day you use it. You know, like Samsung has a lot of customization, but the thing is that, you know, it it doesn't work all the time. You know, sometimes there's like lag, sometimes some apps take like minutes to open up, sometimes they crash, sometimes they don't even open up. 
So I was like frustrated with this, you know, like it's a flagship device, it should work the way it should work. And the battery, the battery on this phone is not, not that, not that great. I get a full day of battery life because I, I keep it on uh, power saver mode. So that's why I get full day of battery life. If I don't use it, if I use it normally with the uh, uh, 60 hertz, like 100, 120 hertz, I won't get that much battery life. And and yeah, and like you know, I can I can show you here. Or uh, like you know, the app searching. I don't even have a screen guard on right now, but still, you know. It is not that smooth. It is not smooth. So, I think the S24 Ultra would be way better than this one, but this is my update. And like, this is the iPhone. I had PUBG open right there. So, yeah. Everything works. See? Everything works as fast as I wanted to. You know. So that is something disappointing, you know. And I use the Samsung watch, which doesn't work with the iPhone. It does work. It can can install an app that can show you the notifications and stuff. But all my health data and all my other stuff is on Samsung's uh, Samsung Health, so I need to find a way to get that data into iPhone and use that. And yeah, the performance of the iPhone was like pretty good. It it I like to tell you that it doesn't have a good camera. Um, as the S twenty four Ultra, like this is the S twenty two. The camera on this one is also like good enough. This camera is good it works the way you want it to work on, under every condition and the display on even if i compare with like this one this just this just came out two years ago if i compare the display quality and stuff like that i would say like the s22 ultra has a way better display compared to the iphone 15 pro max i don't know why uh this is a brighter display i would say but that one is a quality display and even now this cannot compete with that. That's kind of disappointing. Mm. But other than that, the sound of the iPhone is way better than Samsung. I, I would say like the 14 Pro Max even, that has a better sounding overall setup compared to Samsung. And yeah, I would love if Samsung would um, make a software that would make these compatible with the iPhone. Um, I'm not saying that the, the the stuff doesn't work. The the ambient sound and stuff like that doesn't work with the iPhone. So I need to figure out that or I need to buy like AirPods and stuff. And there's another thing which I love about the uh, um, iPhone is that it, it works really well. Works really well with the iPad. Yeah, yeah, now you might ask me, like, you, you said you were a Samsung fanboy and you used to hate Apple, then how did you get an iPad? Actually, I got this for free from my bank. Since I signed up, I got this thing for free. So I thought I'd just use it for watching movies and stuff. And this thing had actually grown on me a bit. You know, this is pretty convenient. I take it to school to take my notes and stuff like that. Nowadays, I use it more than my laptop. So... Yeah, I also have a nice, pretty nice laptop, like a Sephiroth Rogue um, 14. Well, that's a pretty nice laptop, for, but still, like, I, I use my iPad way better than I use my uh, laptop. So, I'm just saying that Apple devices are a lot convenient, but I've been facing a lot of issues. Like, I also actually use a lot of third-party apps on my Android device, and I cannot use all those apps on um apple mm, i need to figure out a way to use that or i still have to keep using this as my secondary phone i'll be using this as my secondary phone because you know there are stuff that 
doesn't work with you know apple and there is actually one one feature that i really love about the iphone that is that this has satellite communication um, i'm a i'm a geologist um, i'm also a petroleum engineer so you can say you know i'm a petroleum engineer or anyway the, the work the kind of work i do is outdoors um, i work mostly on remote places where believe it or not in canada there are places where you don't get reception and in those places this has satellite communication so in case in case of an emergency i could just use this feature i thought that feature is gonna come to the s23 ultra or the s24 ultra it didn't show up i'm still hoping that samsung would do that update and if the s25 ultra comes out i'm definitely gonna get that phone so yeah so these are some things i love about the iphone compared to the android i have well thank you for listening to me blabbering you know and all this stuff and getting my frustration out about getting this change you know i'm still getting used to a lot of stuff in this phone so wish me all the luck mm, and see you guys in the next one bye